Hello there, welcome to another video by ClickAlgo.com and in this video we're going to demonstrate a new product we've just released. It's the uh, CTrader Trading Zones Alert Indicator. Okay, It's an indicator that draws dynamically uh, major support and resistance uh, and demand, supply and demand zones or support and resistance levels on your chart. Okay, What I'll do is I'll, I'll quickly go into it straight away and explain it to you. Uh, as I go along, that's probably the best way. So I'm just going to add the indicator to the chart. It's a custom indicator. So it's the Klekogo Trading Zone Alert. So click on there. Now the first thing you'll see here is some parameters that you can set. Okay, so it's got email address. Um, I'll go through all this all again in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to go through and just in, um, turn on the uh, where is it? The pop-ups. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Pop-ups, pop-ups. Here we go. I'm going to turn on the pop-ups because I want to show you what happens. I'm just going to click OK. Um, so it's now calculating the supply and demand zones. So it's done it now. So the first time you load the indicator on the chart, um, you'll see a pop-up window come up if you set it true. Now what this does, this tells you straight away on this one hour chart, there's a strong supply uh, zone that was created at uh, 110.898. Okay, so it's this one up here to 111.122. So this is a very strong supply zone at the top here, this whole area, okay? So when the price reaches this area, there's a high probability it will bounce back down. It also tells you there's a strong demand zone that's been created at 110.478, which is this one down here, okay, that's been created. And then it tells you uh, other zones that have been created, which are the are weaker supply and demand zones, but they're just as important to actually look at. So I'm gonna close that. Now what you've got on the chart now is um, obviously boxes or zones that have been drawn showing you where all the price action has occurred and where um, there's a high probability that the price will reverse. Now we haven't colored it in the colored in these boxes or shaded them because we want you to see the actual price action in the candles. We want you to see the candle formation there. Okay, we want to see you to see what's going on. Now what you can do, I'm going to go back to the parameters. Okay, just click on there. Now I'm going to go through the parameters. Now what happens is when the price, because the markets are closed at the moment, obviously there's no movement, but when the price hits a demand and supply zone or support and resistance, it will actually send you an alert. So you can set this to a higher time frame, like daily, weekly, or anything like any time frame you want. You can even use it on very low time frames, like one minute. Now, when the price hits um, one of those zones, supply or demand zone, it will send you one of three or all of three, if you want, uh, messages. Okay, you can have a pop up uh, alert come up on the window. So you could be trading, looking at a different chart and all of a sudden a pop up will come up on the window and tell you that um, a zone has been entered or a zone has been created. So when the price hits a zone, then you can go and look at that particular symbol. And you can actually uh, work out if you want to enter a trade or if you want to close a position. So this is very useful. Um, it saves you staring at the charts for hours and hours. Um, and also, which is very useful, a very useful feature of this, <clears throat> it dynamically creates the zones for you as the price uh, action is happening. So as the candles are closing, a new candle closes, and as time goes on, it removes old zones and creates new ones okay so it's dynamically doing this for you You don't have to sit there every morning and draw out the supply and demand zones it will do, do it all for you uh, dynamically another alert you can have is a pot as an email alert now it'll send you an email and tell you when a zone's been created or when the price hits a zone when it enters a zone okay and we've also got um, telegram now telegram is an instant messaging service where you instantly get a message on your mobile phone or, or mobile device or even your desktop. It's a free bit of software you can download and we've got instructions how to set it up. And it's very popular and that will also can be used as a group. So you could have a group of people and you can actually tell them when the price hits a demand zone. Okay, so it could be a group of traders. So what we've also added is to change the color. So you can change the color of the demand zone to say yellow. And now if you click that, the demand zone should change to the yellow down there. Okay, so you can change the colors of the zones to anything you want um, because you might have a, oops, I'll bring that back up. You might have a, um, let's close that, uh, a white background and not um, not green, uh, not black like ours. Let me just change this back. I've gone the wrong way around now, haven't I? Let me go back again. So it's the red at the top, blue at the bottom, but you get the idea, okay? So I'm just gonna change it quickly back for you. So this is what's this will happen when you do the same thing. Okay, so this should be green. And this one. So the pop up will occur. You can turn the pop up off if that gets irritating. 
okay and supply zone is red okay now you can change the thickness there by clicking on there now every time that pop-up will come up you might find that irritating when you're changing the parameters so what I would do when you're changing parameters I would turn off pop-ups probably turn off email and uh, telegram as well so when you're changing the settings leave everything off and then turn them on afterwards okay so as you can see the thickness of the demand zone is is getting bigger and if I change the supply zone you can change the thickness of that as well okay so that gives you the option just to change the thickness and the color of the supply or demand zones now I'm going to turn the pop-up back on okay so this pop-up will occur anytime uh, a zone is like I said entered or created uh, or anything like that now what I'm going to do now I'm just going to change the time zone to one minute. Now I'm also going to turn off that pop-up because I don't want I just want to do some analysis. I don't want the pop-up coming up, so I'm going to turn it off. Now as you can see, you can see all the supply and demand zones there at a glance. Okay, now I can change this down to one minute, then I can make the the chart smaller, and you've got a good overall picture on a one minute time frame of where all the supply and demand zones are. Okay. The same thing will apply if I go to daily. This is the daily supply and demand zones that have been calculated. Okay, so what you can do now, every day that you've, you're running this, you can actually see, you don't have to sit there and, and get it off the internet and work it out. Um, you can actually see what's happening with the price action um, and actually have it dynamically done. So the one last thing I want to mention is this. Um, again, as the price, uh, for example, this price here will come down and hit this green zone there. As it pushes through and it breaks through, which means that it's been breached. That means that that, um, that zone, which I have to double click check now because my, my brain goes, is demand zone, yeah. If, it's, if it actually goes into the demand zone and it actually breaches the demand zone, which means it's, it's pushed through, um, this zone will actually disappear, which means it's been breached, okay? And a new demand zone will be created. So this is also very useful. Um, the same thing with a supply zone, okay? So, uh, this is the indicator we're offering it as a trial version you can download it um, you can try it out see what you think of it um, you know and we also sell it at our, our uh, web store if you are interested in purchasing it um, at clickalgo.com if you look at the bottom of this YouTube video you should see a link how to access it and also if you like this video please give us a thumbs up because it really helps our ratings on Google okay thank you